So we know that surgical procedure rooms and surgical offices are some of the safest, cleanest environments that have always been in our healthcare system. How does it look different now? What precautions are you taking? What can a patient expect to see or experience before, during, and after the procedure? Well, it is a lot different. Um, we're not allowing uh, family members or visitors along with the patients, unless it's uh, specific circumstances where it's a child or or uh, some kind of handicap or something that may need an extra set of eyes and ears. Uh, but most of the family has to wait out in, the, uh, in their car. Uh, you get screened with the typical questions before you come in the door, temperature checks as well, and then you get some of those questions re-asked when you get to our office as well. So how does that look different now for the patients? Well, we are trying to space patients out accordingly uh, on their arrival uh, times and see a, a somewhat limited number of patients each office so that they're not waiting around and having to have contact with others. As a patient prepares for a procedure with your office, there might be some different things that they could expect to have to complete or do um, before they come in for that procedure. What does that look like? So we are currently testing everyone uh, uh, three days prior to their surgical procedure. We ask them to try and self-quarantine as much as possible to limit their contacts to other potentially infected people prior to surgery. So should someone delay a procedure right now or go ahead and come in and have that appointment? I think you need to have that discussion with the surgeon or with your primary care physician and it depends on the urgency of the case. There are certain cases that do need to go ahead and be done. Some could be delayed um, for a while without any progression or, or worsening of their process.